She refuses to listen to us. Complained 14-year-old Ruchi's parents as they brought her to my therapy office. I don't know what happened to our little girl. They said she has become a mean girl at school. At home, she is constantly defiant and argumentative. The other day, she yelled at her mom, saying, "I hate you." We gave her everything she could have ever wanted, and this is how she treats us. The trouble was, Ruchi's parents had made her the center of their world. So, what could her parents do? Namaskar, parents. I'm Dr. Meghna, the therapist mommy. I'm a clinical psychologist and parenting educator. And today, I'll discuss exactly what happens when parents make their kids the center of their world, and what they can do about it. It wasn't good for Ruchi to be given unlimited attention, and it wasn't good for her to have all her wishes fulfilled without any responsibilities. After a lengthy conversation about how things had gotten to this point. Ruchi's parents acknowledged the role they played in the way she viewed herself. They treated her like a little princess, and over time, she actually started believing that she was extra special. Why did Ruchi's parents do this? Why did they treat her like the center of the universe? Guilt is one of the reasons parents dote on their kids to a fault. But for some parents, making their child the center of the universe is about healing their own childhood. A father who grew up without much money. may be tempted to spoil his child so that you know the child never feels poor or a mother who never felt good enough as a child may shower her child with tons of accolades to ensure that she feels good about herself if this is something you as a parent are concerned you are doing think about if any of these statements apply to you i love to shower my child with praise and accolades i think my child is more special than other kids i'm happy to drop whatever i'm doing to respond to my child's requests i'm pretty sure my child is better than average in most things i love to remind my child of all the areas where they excel i devote a lot of time towards doing all the things my child wants to do i believe my child deserves special treatment in therapy ruchi's parents learned to change their belief that the more they gave to their child the better parents they will be These are the four strategies Ruchi's parents learned and that you can learn too to avoid raising a spoiled, narcissistic and entitled child. 1. Offer genuine praise. Ruchi's parents had been telling her she was extraordinary in everything she did, but praising kids for the sole purpose of boosting their self-esteem can backfire. Exaggerated and insincere praise does more harm than good. So instead, praise for character. such as praising compassionate behavior so imagine this situation your child shares his snack with a friend an unhealthy praise sounds like you're the most generous kid ever better praise sounds like that was nice of you to share your snack with your friend he looked really happy that you shared with him praise your child's efforts instead of the results imagine the situation your child gets a 100 on a math test unhealthy praise sounds like great job getting everything right Better praise sounds like you've been working hard this year. Your effort is really paying off. Second, teach empathy. It's helpful to teach kids that their actions impact others, and it's important to think about others' feelings. So when your child hurts someone physically or emotionally, ask them these four questions: What mistake did I make? How did my behavior affect the other person? What would I have done if I was the other person? what can i do better the next time the point of this exercise is to help your child think about how they can be respectful of others in the future this helps raise kids who are not entitled and self absorbed third instill a sense of gratitude your child won't insist that they deserve more attention more appreciation and more material possessions when they are grateful for what they already have Instilling gratitude in children provides many benefits including increased life satisfaction and lower levels of envy, lower levels of materialism and lower levels of depression. Here are three ways to teach your child gratitude. Establish like a daily gratitude ritual. Take turns going around the dinner table to say two things that you're thankful for today. Make it a daily habit. Construct a gratitude jar or a bulletin board. Take turns writing down what you're thankful for and hang it up or place it in the jar and encourage your child to write in a gratitude journal it can significantly boost a child's emotional and social success and finally 
volunteer as a family. When your child refuses to eat their veggies and you say, there are starving kids in our country who would love to eat that food. That type of logic isn't likely to foster a sense of global compassion. But volunteering as a family at an orphanage might open your child's eyes to other people's problems outside of their own. Children who volunteer empathize more with others. Being involved in community service gives children a sense of meaning and purpose. Here are some ideas to get started. Volunteer your time at an old age home or orphanage. Make care packages for homeless and donate them to an NGO. Volunteer at an animal shelter. Make cards for a children's hospital or nursing home. And participate in a community cleanup project. Don't fall into the trap of believing that the more you give your child, the better parent you are or will be. Make an effort to talk to your child about what they have to give, not just what they want to gain. So instead of talking about how much money they want to earn in the future, ask them what they hope to contribute to society. Then you'll be raising a child who's kind and compassionate rather than spoiled and self-absorbed. This is The Therapist Mommy signing off.